Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm down here at my property in Portsmouth, Virginia. This is our 40 unit apartment complex. Just down here checking up on a few things, meeting with the managers, walking through some of the units. And um, one thing I want to talk about is I always do a full walk around of all the buildings um, just to get a sense of what's happening. You know, I spotted a few things back here behind this building. Um, I don't know if you can see here, got a gutter. Got a big old pile of mud. So I think what's happening here, it did rain recently, but I think what's happening, the water's coming down, it's actually overflowing. I don't know if you can see, but it looks like there's some brush sticking out of that gutter. And so I think it's overflowing when it rains and it's coming down and we're getting a lot of water build up down here. So that uh, can eventually cause some problems with the foundation and breeding ground for mosquitoes and all sorts of things. Um, so we've got to get, it's just a note that I'll make for my contractor to come back here, check all the gutters and make sure that our downspouts are working so that we'll make sure that we're flowing water appropriately away from the property. No, I, I think it, I think it was, no, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay, so so to me, bed bugs sound super scary, right? Because yeah. you know I'm concerned about them hopping from one unit to the other. So yeah. what do we do for that? And tell me right. why it's not a huge deal right now. Uh, well, I think bed bugs is a huge deal, no matter what. The thing with bed bugs is that they they don't have a dwelling a perimeter of a dwelling. The four walls mm -hmm. doesn't create a boundary for them. The building, the structure, and anything and everything is their boundary. So we took a walk through two bed bug infested units and uh, if I were you I would check my, my seams and whatnot and just kind of brush everything off just to make sure you didn't have anything hop on you or jump on you or crawl on you. Okay. Uh, because there is no boundary. Now with a bed bug in a... Now I feel itchy. Uh, and you should. <laughs> and, and that's the thing that people don't understand about bed bugs is that they're everywhere all the time. Uh, and did you take a look at the seat, um, maybe the rental car? I do. Mm -hmm. I have a big, great contract with Enterprise Car Rental, and you'd be surprised at things that we get wow. requests for. Okay, now we're scaring everyone. That's <laughs> well, that's the point. Bugs, th this is their domain. Yeah. We're in, we've intruded into their world, and they are in, invading, if you yeah. will, in various ways. And it's my job to make sure that they don't invade your residence. Okay, so um, what do we do about them? So with if there's an end, a bed bug infestation, we had two units. And uniquely, they're in the same building, and they're... We're on diagonal from each other mm. and so the American Apartment Council suggests that you do a four by four uh, if some one resident has an active infestation of bed bugs if we look at the units that are touching that unit whether it's side by side diagonal or if there's a wall that's shared mm -hmm. that unit gets a visual inspection now some people just aren't great at inspecting. We walked by the bugs and you didn't see it. I didn't know what to look for. But right? I pointed them you out to me. you. Yeah. You taught me a lot. And that's how that's that's the difference between a person that knows what they're doing. And first, I mean, that's why the, we bring in the best? Well, with the professionals, you know. Absolutely. So, but sometimes even the professionals don't have the right eye right. because they're termite pros. Right, right. right. I'm a bed bug guy. Okay. I'm a roach guy, okay. and that's why I take care of multi-families. Yeah. So, um, cool. We see a lot of that. Here. So we'll treat it, and it won't be a problem long term. No, I think um, because it's vacant, there's not a lot of stuff to that they can hide, and uh, we'll probably work with the management team here and to um, as they flip the property, do another treatment as um, they remove the carpets and so forth. Okay. So. Uh, we'll take out some wall plates, do some preventative stuff, some long-standing things so that there is some sort of return or reinfestation or re-entry of the unit that it will be um, have some sort of preventative to die. Great. Yeah. So the important thing for me is we did the full inspection yeah. and now we're going to treat 
And then we get on a preventative maintenance Yeah, yeah. Schedule. So we'll have a preventative where we treat uh, door to door to door to door. Uh, on a regular basis. On a regular basis. Okay. I think we're at this property monthly or bi-monthly. I can't remember which. I said monthly. Monthly. Every so month. Okay. Every month we're here and uh, we're treating half the property probably. But uh, we're, we're, we're um, not only that, we're going to do a report card, which is this piece of paper here. Mm -hmm. And on this, we're going to treat everything as a community uh, clean out, if you will. So we do it all at the same time, and that works in concert with your preventative plan. Great. Thank yeah. you so much for coming. Absolutely. Out. Appreciate it. Thanks for, uh, for being on the video. Thanks. And do you want to plug the company? Uh, Commonwealth Exterminating is the leading expert on bed bugs and roaches, especially for multifamily dwellings, and we're the only company with a property management fit, focus and emphasis. We love what we do, and we're really good at it, and property managers like that we're good at it. So call, call Corey yeah. if you need pest control. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. Guys. All right.